finally to fish a match and I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm off to Partridge Lake today to fish the open match and I cannot wait. I barely slept a wink last night. I think mean, I only got five, six, five hours sleep maybe. I was up at the crack of dawn, half five this morning to get my bacon sandwich cooked and get on the road really, couldn't wait. Um, we are on lakes one to four today, so there'll be about 50 people fishing. It's the, my first match. Uh, I think this is about the second open match for anyone at Partridge since lockdown. So I think it's going to be a bit of a buzz. I can't wait. Tactics wise, I'm thinking probably it's going to be micros and expander across in about between anything between two and three foot. I've got my rigs ready on my top kits. I couldn't wait. Did a few rigs in hook length last night. Um, just nice and light, not not too heavy. You no know, 011 bottoms and. 017 main lines because I don't want to be tying new rigs up in a couple of weeks time with it there. I've just got some nice, I've got some blue hydro in and I've got some orange hydro and some pink just to see what's best. But yeah, it's got to be pellets across. I've got a bit of ground bait and some maggots. I'm probably going to throw maggots short um, in about, about five metres and I'll probably try and catch, feed that all day, try and catch in the edges and across. And if they come shallow, then happy days. You probably win the match. Like the winning weights will probably be quite shallow because I think Christian won the match with 160 pound on Tuesday, and that was a lot of that was shallow and in the edge. We only caught late on, so I'm going to feed that. And if I don't feel like I'm going to catch anything shallow, I'll just come keep. If I'm going to the bottom at five meters and I'm foul looking, I'll come back to the top kit and uh, short for throw maggots to catch in the bottom there. Hopefully, I keep on the bottom. And uh, you might get some bites, but that is the plan, anyways. Uh, to be honest, if, as long as I get some bites, I don't really care what I catch. I've got my new cap on, so I'm, I'm nice and comfortable. I've got my brand new seat box in the back, so I can't wait to have a sit on that. But yeah, I'm gonna get to Partridge, get a peg drawn for me, and hopefully it'll be a flyer. And I'll update you once we get to the fishery. I'll see you soon. So Nelly's just drawn my peg, peg one on the open match today. I don't know, I mean the wind's coming this way but it is a cold wind, but it looks nice. You'll get a few bites. But I'm hoping fish against down the edge against that bridge, maybe across on the bridge and long up that banking and down there, lots of options and maybe throw some maggots on the bridge, catch a few shallow maybe on the bottom. But yeah, let's go and get the gear and get set up. See if I can remember how to set up. Get the nets out to dry. Well, I'm after the dry now, like, but lay them out.
but in terms of how I'm going to approach it, I'm going to start on the corner of the bridge, down the edge, just down there. Start on pellets, probably clumping them to begin with because I've seen a few fish. I'm just going to fire pellets about three quarters of the way across towards the bridge. There's been a few fish topping, so I'm just going to go for it shallow there. Then fish at my left hand edge as well and just rotate my edge lines and try and catch shallow. I have put a line in long up the banking up there to try and catch some carp um, in, in about two foot four inch, but it's about two foot seven inch in the edges. And that's it basically, dead, dead simple. That's my side tray. Got some maggots, some pellets, and um, then a mixture of both and some expanders. That's, that's it, dead simple. Got my rigs down there, I'll talk you through them later. But just dead simple stuff. Three nets in, let's go for it, I'll speak to you later. peg i wouldn't say it's a fly in it's not a really bad peg i think it's sort of like not here nor there so i, I was pleased with it I was, I was happy anywhere this morning to be honest and i set up all my lines so i set up across um in two foot ten inches and same to the corner of the bridge over there then i've set up in two foot here and two foot 16 meters out there and i started to the bridge in two foot six inches two foot ten inches sorry just tapping some micros in and i then I changed to clumping them in a, in a little sort of small guru pot um, and that was all right but there's loads of stockies in this peg so the problem is you just get loads of liners to follow because it's a bit of a nightmare. I caught about six stockies and a, and a little carp about two pounds in sort of the first half an hour and I've been firing maggots to the bridge because I thought if I'm going to do any good I'm probably going to have to catch shallow to that bridge so I've um, kept firing maggots and I had a go on that and I caught quite well probably the middle part of the match I've just basically alternated between in this edge here where I'm fishing now and to the bridge, shallow, uh, just fishing um, a long line dibber rig, a 0.2 dibber, just keep um, swinging my rig with a real, like a two, two and a half foot lash, just fishing anywhere between 12 and 15 inches deep, so quite shallow, but because they're stocky, they're only like 12 ounces to a pound, they come right up. Um, just fishing my cousin and ground it down the edge in little medium pots, feels like summer. This is what's been working best down here. But I kind of fished that out, but then eventually that just kind of got worse and worse down there. And that line to the bridge was no good because it was just too deep. I was just foul looking fish, so I kind of just wrote that off. And it's the same across. So you don't have a lot of shallow water in this peg, this is a problem. I mean, two foot is about as shallow as I've got. Probably on that side because it's really shallow, so it's no good. Long up the banking, I've had a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare to be honest with you. I've messed up because there's loads of carp up there. And to start with, I've tried to fish it in the wind and I've not pulled the reeds back properly so it's meant that I couldn't get my rig in the right place and I've kind of messed about really and if I'd fished it properly from the start I think I definitely would have framed the match if not won to be honest with you because um, I've had 93 pound 
which hasn't won me anything. I've been third in this lake, there's been a 93, 10. I've done him by one ounce, and then there's two lads beat me by six pounds. They've had 98 and 98 next to each other. Oh, that's a good bite. <laughs> um, so I've, I've had an enjoyable day. I'm not far off the frame. I'm only like, well, I'm, I think 100 and just over a ton got in the frame, got in the money. So I'm only, I'm not far off at, at all. And obviously only six pounds off the section win. So I'm, I'm a bit kicking myself really. But anyways, I kind of fast about across. Eventually I got off my box and pulled the reeds back across there because my shallow lines already died anyways. So I pulled the reeds back and then fed it and I did catch a carp and a big F1 on it. So it was worth doing. Like it was a big, it was a six pound carp. So I probably gained 10 pounds from doing that. Um, but the shallow line had died already anyway, so I sacked off. So there's no point feeding that. I might as well concentrate on down this edge and across from there. So I've just been potting micros and ground bait with a 100 mil pot every now and again on both lines. Not a full pot, but like three quarters full. Um, but then this line actually that I'm fishing now was the best all day. I've caught big F1s. I think because the stockies just live under the bridge, and you catch a bit of stamp fish this side. It's only short, but it's two foot tight against the bank. So it's been lovely. I'm getting positive bites, but I've had runs where I'd literally drop it in, feed my bait, and it'd go under straight away. Whereas sometimes you'd have to wait a bit longer for bites. Just with a medium guru pot, dunking it under the water so it sinks to the bottom. And I, was, I didn't foul up any, not, not many liners, just flies under and you get one on. Right, just like that. But all in all, I've had a lovely day, really enjoyed it. Just fishing 011 bottoms. I'm going to try and net them left hand. Fishing 011 bottoms, white hydro, a little muddy float, and a little bulk shot, four inch up clem. Had a 16 Super LWG, that was the best rig. Popping back, that was only a little one, but there's loads, that's like one of the stockies, they're only, they're only sort of tiny. But hopefully you enjoyed that little video. I'll be doing another video soon, hopefully filming the whole match. But thanks for watching and tight lines.